Hey guys, thanks, and welcome to the video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about my bed and my tailgate. So, let's get into it. Swag, bitch. So, as you can see here, I have some bare metal and some primered. Basically, the bed looked like all gray, which I'll probably have a picture of before, but I don't think I do. But I might. So, I sanded every little nook and cranny of this fucking place. I ran out of black, that's why it's white primer as well. Um, it's all rattle can primer. It's going to be uh, duplex truck bed coating. The tailgate, I primed because it was so bad of scratches it wasn't even funny. So I got it all taped off and all ready to go for this. This was grease. I sanded this all off. I have to wipe all this down with wax and tar remover. You can get it from Home Depot and um, Home Depot and something else. Uh, this is the truck bed coating of Duplex, as you can see. Uh, it says shake very sturdily. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a process, but this is uh, just a before video. Just to give you guys a little update on what's happening with the truck. Because I know you guys like... Um, like seeing what I do with my vehicles and all kinds of projects I have going on. Um, so this is the bed so far. Hopefully we get it done tonight, which will, I'm going to be starting on the tailgate sanding that, because this is already done sanded uh, with 100 grit. And then um, from there we're going to the tailgate, and then pretty much we're going to wipe this all down, then wax the tar, remove it, and then paint it. All right. And here we are. Right here is the final product of the duplex color of the bed being painted. You can see everything has come out nicely. There's my light. You can see how it's all come out nicely. Yeah, there's a little bit of a patch job I need to do there. Over here, I've done it pretty well. That's just a little bit of a cover up because I need to add a second coat. But mostly everything is done on this. Covered everything up, patched everything up. Got my nice thick coating. I am going to get the plastic for the back, so don't ask about the line. The line's just there for right now. But it will get taken care of. Just give it a little bit of time. And it will be taken care of. Alrighty, guys. That was painting my bed. If you have any further questions or anything else, um, you are welcome to comment underneath the video. And I will see you guys in the next video what's up there guys okay so i just wanted to go over some quick quick simple things i did the truck bed coating i kind of wanted to do the armor the bed armor um from duplex colors i don't know if i'm saying the name right but the instructions however they're a little different than the bed armor and the bed coating uh i did the bed coating because my bed was really Badly scratched, a lot of metal showing through, and just didn't want to get it rusted. Um, had the truck for a very long time, just never been bed coated. It's always been regular truck paint. Um, I wanted to get one of those plastic liners like they have in the um, the Rams, uh, the second gens. Uh, but never got around to getting one, so I just painted it for now. Eventually, if I do have the money or do want to do that, I will be eventually putting one in, hopefully. But until then... This is what I'm doing. Well, did. Um, this is the first video of 2022, so thank you all for tuning in. Um, also, it um, I don't think my bed paint cured or had enough time to cure because it seems like when I throw stuff in, like, I did like two or three coats of bed primer. And I had it sitting in my garage at like a constant temperature of 70 to 60 in there because it was like really cold outside and it wouldn't cure under 32 degrees i think it was said so i'm hoping that it cured but if it didn't i just have to do it in springtime again which would suck but that's what i gotta do um but basically i did it it came out pretty well like i've said i've, th I've thrown a couple of stuff in the bed of the truck and paint's already scratched off and stuff like that but it's a work truck i'm not worried about the bed being that bad, but I don't want it to be weird at one of them jobbers where you just my whole hand's going through the bed, man. It's non existent. Like, I think we've all had one of those trucks out there. I think we've all had or seen one at least. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've done so far. Um, a lot of the prep 
I wasn't supposed to primary, so I was supposed to take it down to bare metal. But um, primary it really did a lot for the actual paint itself. It was able to adhere to everything. It was able to just be what it is today. And also, it's really like thick and hard, and that shit's shit's pretty good. I mean, I would like to do the bed armor, but I feel like that stuff's very like clumpy. You know that rough texture feeling. Kind of wanted that smooth look, which I kind of got, but it just that that stuff was so thick it wasn't even funny. Um, I still have two 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 cans of that shit, which is like amazing to me. So it's like wow, but well. One and a half cans. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, for any further questions, I can post the instructions on one of my Instagrams eventually. Um, so yeah, I will talk to you guys later on. This is the first video of 2022, so thank you for tuning in. And I hope you all are out there doing your projects and getting stuff done. So you have yourselves a wonderful and great day. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.